portfolio planning it's a new in washington dc it's only available for the washington dc so if you are new to washington dc upgrading you make sure you go ahead and install the portfolio planning so you can get the benefit out of that and this was used formerly was used to be called the alignment planner workspace so no longer alignment planner workspace and then service now just created this portfolio planning welcome, welcome to the service now store on youtube go to destination for all things service now whether you are a seasoned it profession or just dive into the world of enterprise solutions we have got you covered from tutorials and tips to the latest updates and innovations join today's session will cover the five amazing washington dc key highlights this specifically we cover the strategic portfolio management in service now all right so before uh, we go ahead and um, talk those five amazing washington dc highlights i want to say uh, everybody here uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the service now store make sure you subscribe all right just imagine instead of filibustering over tickets we can now even pass a resolution to fix a bug isn't it <laughs> all right let's continue so the first highlight we're going to cover here is the efficient planning okay when it comes to planning in service now as a strategy portfolio management that get become more efficient there are the three uh, most important things that were introduced or the ability to edit multiple rows at once that was impossible previously and now we can be able to do that multiple rows at once we can track a number of votes received for a given feedback that is also a new highlight that we have understanding the popularity of feedback using the votes field okay you can track this number of different votes and not only that it can help you also to understand the popularity of a given feedback using the vote field okay this allows to prioritize feedback and make informed decision based on user input so for planning okay if you are planning a resource um, this is going to be really crucial uh, to upgrade to washington dc all right let's move on now enhanced financial planning now when it comes to the financial planning that part is also good a lot of additional new uh, capabilities there as well so there is a customizable widget that are now available to view financial details like for example located budgets you can take a look at your total latest cost variance breakdown planet uh, cost these are all customizable okay you can customize it uh, which means in a safe way you can customize use it all right now users can also export your cost or baseline comparison information right as you compare using the budget cost uh, this different uh, capability you can be able to export that data using an excel or even a CSV format so that way you can export take a look at it uh, massage the data outside and then you can uh, create an expense line to capture unplanned cost as well so this is um, that's why we are saying you have to upgrade if you're really looking for a strategy performance a strategy portfolio management in washington dc got a lot of new functionality so it's very uh, it's, it's a good time to upgrade all right the third one here is the resource management come to resource management has a lot of improvement especially on the resource management workspace area and this workspace got an efficient way to work allowing you to view and manage resource assignments okay when you reassign or uh, assign a resource you can easily manage as well as view it help you to enable the creation and management of unplanned expense right these are different kinds of expense could could come in the resource management planet and unplanned so the unplanned expense you can easily without you know associating them with a forecasted planet cost all right so that's also a very good let's move on to the portfolio planning yes this portfolio planning also got a very good enhancement things like for example enhanced to visualize the alignment of work with your organizational objective you could have your own objective right as per organization so that can help you to visualize your uh, resource uh, your portfolio so you can uh, take a look at it with your organizational objective it also uh, now offer new customizable widgets to view your financial information and you can export the options to share your financial information as an excel or a csv format this is really great an ability to create an expense line to manage unplanned expense so this is the area where the portfolio management uh, portfolio planning specifically uh, the portfolio planning got this capability customizable widgets you can export the data using excel and csv and can from there you can as well create an expense line for anything that is unplanned 
All right, now let's take a look at the project portfolio management. The project portfolio management, um, things like, for example, updated to enable creation and management of widget, uh, a wide range of projects. Right? It can also offer features such as migrating your resource plan to a resource assignment. That's a new capability that is added and generating a lever cost for your agile epic. This wasn't there, so this is also a new enhancement there, which is generating a lever cost for your agile epic. And it got enhanced a project planning and also management. Really cool features there. So it really, uh, service now really enhanced the project planning, the planning part, and also the management part. Okay. Now, in summary, uh, if you upgrade to Washington DC, definitely you can get an efficient planning uh, when it comes to your planning uh, console. And also, it also gets you enhanced financial planning part, improved resource management workspace. That's really uh, cool there for assignments and so on also to view. Uh, when it comes to your portfolio planning, that also got a lot of enhancement. Um, there is also an enhancement related to project portfolio management in general on the application enhanced uh, project portfolio management so you can easily track a bunch of uh, portfolio enhanced project planning and also management you can export your data to as a csv format and then you can take a look at it in uh, printed form as well okay so those are the new those are the new the top five or i can say here in the top uh, six new highlights that we got with the service now upgrading to the washington dc okay if you haven't yet decided to upgrade make sure you go ahead and upgrade to washington dc unless you need to wait for any uh, fed ramp approval and things like that but the washington dc release it it's already here uh it's available you can go ahead and upgrade so it's, it's my personal developer in us i'm going to show you some of this functionality here let's go ahead and take you to that portfolio planning this portfolio planning it is uh, you can install portfolio planning into your Personal developer instance. Uh, here I am installing it currently. 98% completed. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the portfolio planning, and then the application ID is SN underscore align W. Now this is only released just in Washington DC. What we are right now currently. Okay, doesn't have any custom table count. That count with zero custom table count, which is great, right? So that's another benefit here. Now, what are the key features when it comes to this portfolio planning? It help you to plan, track, and also course uh, correct direction of your work. So I'm not gonna read all of this, but there are you know key things to highlight. You can export to into CSV or also Excel uh, that will help you to prioritize. Okay. That's one thing it also uh, come with a group and sort and stack rank planning item from a list view that's also very a uh, good point right there to mention um, now roadmap wise it can give you the roadmap of your portfolio in a timeline or a kanban layout okay that's another good future that is uh, coming here in washington dc release okay so when it comes to capacity planning, again, in capacity planning, there is additional, you know, ease, easeability of your portfolio planning. Like for example, you can configure attributes to be used in your capacity planning using a planning attribute. Planning attribute, that's very great part right there. And you can also define a set of resource on uh, which you want to create a capacity plan. All right. So you got a lot of cool features. I highly encourage you to go ahead and install all right, there are some prerequisites you can take a look at uh, before you go ahead and install this. And I highly encourage to try it first in lower environment, uh, development environment, things like that. And then from there, these are the system requirements. And again, this is a new feature here in Washington, DC. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave the link for you guys right there. There are some additional things if you wanna look, uh, if you wanna learn more, for example, uh, there it is also store app. You wanna uh, install it so in production it's gonna it need to be done through the store app okay perfect so that's all about the portfolio planning that give you all that future and now let's go ahead and show you by the way this is export to powerpoint for standard portfolio management <clears throat> it is now included under the portfolio planning if you're installing portfolio planning you can have that export functionality into a powerpoint but uh, for previous versions, for example, uh, versions like um, here, Vancouver and also Utah, those two versions, this was there already, uh, exporting functionality to a PowerPoint was already there, but you need to go ahead and install the plugin for that one. It's called SNPPM PPT underscore export. OK, 
okay this is um, something you can go ahead and install it as well again it's coming with the custom table zero count doesn't have any so it will uh, quickly generate a microsoft powerpoint report for your key workers okay so you don't need to like work on a powerpoint you can directly work in service now export that and then you can message it and from there you can present it to your uh, management for that part okay so you see that's a dependency right there you need to have a ppm standard and then from there you can go ahead and install the export to powerpoint plugin all right okay now let's move on to the uh, another plugin right here i'm going to show you the scenario planning i just installed it in my personal developer instance so if you're looking to install it there you can go ahead and install it in your lower environment okay right here 100 so scenario planning uh, that's something you can go ahead and install it in lower environment first to look at it okay right it's just reloading here let's see now this is also what they are already and uh, Utah Vancouver and then has some additional things in Washington DC additional benefits or additional things um, you can this scenario planning is like a what if scenario right you can give you a what if scenario you can do that and analyze specifically portfolio for portfolio uh, managers okay and the key features here you can plan portfolio work for a specific fiscal year flexible timeline using this scenario all that cool features okay great so now let me take you to the uh, different plugins where you can find them so this is where you can come in your instance you can go to the uh, you can search for portfolio planning you can find the portfolio planning okay project workspace and some of them some of them should be done from the store app but in your developer instance uh, not to worry you can go ahead and install it directly okay now we have the portfolio planning which already installed in our developer instance and completed okay like i said this portfolio planning it's a new in washington dc so this is where you can come in your instance you can go to the uh, you can search for portfolio planning you can find the portfolio planning okay project workspace and some of them some of them should be done from the store app but in your developer instance uh, not to worry you can go ahead and install it directly okay now we have the portfolio planning which is already installed in our developer instance and completed okay like i said i'm not gonna read all of these but there are you know key things to highlight you can export to into CSV or also excel uh, that will help you to prioritize okay that's one thing and also uh, come with a group and sort and stack rank planning item from a list view that's also very a uh, good point right there to mention um, now roadmap wise it can give you the roadmap of your portfolio in a timeline or a kanban layout okay that's another good future that is uh, coming here in washington dc release okay so when it comes to capacity planning again in capacity planning there's additional you know easeability of your portfolio planning like for example you can configure attributes to be used in your capacity planning using a planning attribute planning attribute that's very great part right there and you can also define a set of resource on uh, which you want to create a capacity plan all right so you got a lot of cool features i highly encourage you to go ahead and install all right there are some prerequisites you can take a look at uh, before you go ahead and install this and i highly encourage you to try it first in lower environment uh, development environment things like that and then from there these are the system requirement and again this is a new future here in washington dc okay all right i'm gonna leave the link for you guys right there there are some additional things if you want to look uh, if you want to learn more for example uh, there it is also store app you want to uh, install it so in production it's going to need to be done through the store app okay perfect so that's all about the portfolio planning that give you all that future and now let's go ahead and show you by the way this is export to powerpoint for standard portfolio management <clears throat> it is now included under the portfolio planning if you're installing portfolio planning you can have that export functionality into a powerpoint but uh, for previous versions for example uh, versions like um, here Vancouver and also Utah those two versions this was there already uh, exporting functionality to a PowerPoint was already there but you need to go ahead and install the plugin for that one it's called SN PPM PPT underscore export okay this is um, something you can go ahead and 
and install it as well again it's coming with a custom table zero count doesn't have any so it will uh, quickly generate a microsoft powerpoint report for your key workers okay so you don't need to like work on in a powerpoint you can directly work in service now export that and then you can message it and from there you can present it to your uh, management for that part okay so you see that's a dependency right there you need to have a ppm standard and then from there you can go ahead and install the export to powerpoint okay, i'm going to show you the scenario planning i just installed it in my personal developer instance so if you're looking to install it there you can go ahead and install it in your lower environment okay right here 100 so scenario planning uh, that's something you can go ahead and install it in lower environment first to look at it okay right it's just reloading here let's see now this is also what there already and uh, Utah Vancouver and then has some additional things in Washington DC additional benefits or additional things um, you can this scenario planning is like a what if scenario right you can give you a what if scenario you can do that and analyze specifically portfolio for portfolio uh, managers Okay. and the key features here you can plan portfolio work for a specific fiscal year flexible timeline using this scenario all that cool features welcome to the service now start on youtube go to destination for all things service whether you are a seasoned it profession or just dive into the world of enterprise solutions we have got you covered from tutorials and tips to the latest updates and innovations join us on this journey to master service now don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss our latest content let's unlock the full potential of service now together welcome to the service now store where excellence meets innovation thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. See you next time.